Hello, friends. Today, I will tell you about the history, cultural structure, venues, and iconic symbols of the 10 most visited cities in Europe in 2023. While I explain it to you, enjoy watching the unique places of these cities in 4K resolution. Let's move on to the video. Located in the north of France on the banks of the Seine River, the population of Paris is approximately 2.2 million. Paris is known as one of the most romantic cities in the world and welcomes millions of tourists every year. This city, a tourism paradise, is famous for its historical and cultural riches. The first tourist attraction that comes to mind is the Eiffel Tower. This tower is one of the landmarks of Paris. Built in 1889 to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the French Revolution, the tower was originally built as a temporary structure, but was made permanent due to its popularity. Today, the tower is one of the most visited tourist attractions in the world. The Louvre Museum is one of the largest and most important art museums in the world. Opened in 1793 during the French Revolution, this museum was established in the Louvre Palace, which was used by the royal family before the French Revolution. The museum contains approximately 350,000 artifacts, dating from prehistoric times to the 21st century. Some of these are the world's most famous works of art, such as Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa painting, Venus de Milo statue, and Napoleon's crown. Notre Dame Cathedral is one of the best examples of Gothic architecture. The cathedral was built in 1163 by King Henry VII. It was started to be built by Louis and was completed in 1345. The cathedral has been one of the most important symbols of Paris for more than 850 years. Champs-Élysées Boulevard is one of the most famous shopping and entertainment centers in the world. The boulevard was built by King XIV in the 17th century. It was built by Louis. The boulevard was originally a road starting from the Tuileries Garden and extending to the Place de la Concorde. In the 19th century, the boulevard became the most important commercial and entertainment center in Paris. Rome is the capital and largest city of Italy. Located on the banks of the Tiber River, the city is the most populous city in Italy with a population of approximately 2.8 million. The Colosseum is one of the most famous and largest amphitheaters in the world. During the Roman Empire, it was used for gladiator fights, animal hunts, and other public spectacles. The amphitheater is considered a symbol of the power and wealth of the Roman Empire. The Colosseum is one of the most popular tourist destinations in the world today. The Pantheon, built by Hadrian in 125 AD and used as a church today, is one of the best preserved structures of the ancient world. Pantheon means Temple of All Gods in Greek. The temple is the world's largest concrete dome with a circular plan. There is a hole with a diameter of 8.5 meters on the dome. Piazza Navona is one of the most beautiful and lively squares in the city. This square, which was used as a stadium during the ancient Roman period, is also famous for its famous fountains and historical places. Piazza Navona is a must-see for anyone visiting Rome. The square is an important cultural heritage, reflecting the rich history and culture of the city. Trevi Fountain, one of the most famous and largest fountains in the world, was designed by Nicola Salvi, and its construction was completed in 1762. Travertine and marble were used in the construction of the fountain. 
In the center of the fountain is a statue of the sea god Neptune, and on its four sides are tritons and other sea creatures. Trevi Fountain is one of Rome's most popular tourist destinations. The political, religious, and commercial center of ancient Rome, the Roman Forum. It was one of the most important landmarks of the Roman Empire and is an important cultural heritage reflecting the rich history and culture of the city. The Forum, which was rediscovered as a result of archaeological excavations in the 19th century, is now open to visitors as an open-air museum. Berlin is the capital and largest city of Germany. Located on the banks of the River Spree, the city is Germany's most populous city with a population of approximately 3.7 million. The Brandenburg Gate is a neoclassical triumphal arch from the 18th century. It was built on the west side of the city between 1789 and 1793 as a symbol of peace and reunification. The Brandenburg Gate was an important turning point in the history of Berlin and the triumphal procession of the Prussian army after defeating Napoleon in 1814 during World War II. It has formed the backdrop for many important events, such as Nazi parades during World War II and the celebration of German reunification in 1990. Berlin Cathedral is a Protestant cathedral. The cathedral is located at the end of Unter den Linden Boulevard, on the banks of the River Spray. The cathedral started to be built in 1701 and was completed in 1894. A mixture of Baroque and neoclassical architectural styles, the cathedral is one of Berlin's most important landmarks. The exterior of the cathedral is made of white marble and is supported by 12 columns. Charlottenburg Palace is one of the largest and most important palaces in the city. The palace began to be built in 1695 as a summer palace for Princess Sophie Charlotte and was completed in 1699. The palace is a mixture of Baroque and Rococo architectural styles and is visited by millions of people every year. Tiergarten and Victory Column are two important symbols of Berlin. Built as a hunting ground in the middle of Berlin in the 16th century and opened to the public in the 18th century, Tiergarten is the largest park in the city and the victory column in this park was built in 1864 to commemorate Prussia's victory in the Second Schleswig War. London is the capital and largest city of the United Kingdom. The city is located on the banks of the River Thames. London is one of the most important culture and art centers in the world and hosts millions of tourists every year. One of the most famous places is undoubtedly Buckingham Palace. This palace is the official residence and administrative center of the monarchs of the United Kingdom. The palace has been used as the official residence of the monarchs of the United Kingdom since 1761. The palace is one of the largest palaces in the world. The palace welcomes millions of visitors every year. The Tower of London is a historic tower located on the north bank of the River Thames. It was built by William the Conqueror in 1078 and became one of the most famous symbols of the country. Over time, the tower was used as a royal palace, treasury, prison, observatory, and armory. It is now a popular tourist attraction and houses the crown jewels of the United Kingdom. Big Ben is the famous clock tower next to the Palace of Westminster in London. It is the second largest four-faced clock in the world. Big Ben is actually the name of the clock tower's bell, but over time it has come to be used by the public to refer to the entire structure. Over time, 
Big Ben has become one of London's most iconic landmarks and is recognized by tourists from all over the world. The Palace of Westminster is the building that houses the two houses of the United Kingdom Parliament, the House of Commons and the House of Lords. Westminster Palace was built in 1097 by I.I. It was built by William. The palace was greatly damaged by a fire in 1834, but was later rebuilt. The palace is still used as the headquarters of the United Kingdom Parliament today. Located in the northeast of Spain, on the Mediterranean coast, Barcelona has a population of approximately 1.6 million. Barcelona is the second largest city in Spain and the capital of the autonomous region of Catalonia. Sagrada Familia is a Catholic church in Barcelona, Spain, one of the most important buildings of modernism. Designed by Antoni Gaudí, the church began construction in 1882 and is still being completed. This church, which has not been completed until today due to various reasons, is planned to be completed in 2026. Another venue designed by Antoni Gaudí, Park Güell, was opened to the public in 1926. In 1984, UNESCO declared the park a World Heritage Site under the name Works of Antoni Gaudí. The park has unique architecture that uses organic forms and vibrant colors. The park features ceramic-covered benches, statues, arches, and other architectural structures. La Rambla Street. This street, approximately 1.2 kilometers long, is one of the city's most popular tourist attractions. Built in the 14th century, this street was originally a riverbed. In the 16th century, the riverbed was filled and the street was built. It is famous for its colorful buildings, street artists, florists, cafes, and restaurants. Amsterdam is the capital and largest city of the Netherlands. The city is located on the banks of the River IJ and is the most populous city in the Netherlands, with a population of approximately 870,000. Rijksmuseum is the largest museum in the Netherlands and was founded in 1809. The museum's collection covers Dutch art and history from the Middle Ages to the present day. The museum is housed in a building designed by Pierre Keepers and built between 1874 and 1881. The Rijksmuseum is a fascinating and inspiring place worth visiting. Dam Square, one of the city's most important tourist attractions, was built in the 13th century, and its name is associated with the damming of the Amstel River and the founding of Amsterdam. Dam Square is the historical and cultural center of the city. Around the square, there are important buildings such as the Royal Palace, Nieuwe Kerk, Madame Tussauds Museum, and the Dutch National Monument. The historical Anne Frank House, built in 1638, is used as a museum today. The story is Die. It is the house where Anne Frank, a young Jewish girl hiding from the Nazis during World War II, hid, and the diary she kept during this time was published after the war and became one of the most famous books in the world. Red Light District has a history of nearly 300 years. In the 17th century, the area developed as an entertainment and trading center for the city's fishermen and merchants. In the 19th century, the area became a gathering place for the city's prostitutes. The Red Light District is still one of Amsterdam's most important sex trafficking centers today.
Istanbul is one of the oldest and most cosmopolitan cities in the world, located at the intersection of the Asian and European continents. The city is located on the coast of the Marmara Sea, on both sides of the Bosphorus. Istanbul is the largest city in Turkey and one of the most populous cities in the world, with a population of approximately 16 million. Taksim Square was built in the early 19th century as part of the efforts for the expansion and modernization of Istanbul, the capital of the Ottoman Empire. The buildings surrounding the square reflect the European architecture of that period. Over time, it has become one of the busiest and liveliest spots in the city. Hagia Sophia and the Blue Mosque are two of the most important historical and cultural buildings in Istanbul. Both buildings reflect the rich and historical past of the city. These structures, located opposite each other, are considered a symbol of the power and magnificence of the Byzantine and Ottoman empires. Top Kapi Palace, built by Mehmet the Conqueror in 1478, is the palace used as the administrative center of the state and where the Ottoman sultans lived for 400 years of the 600-year history of the Ottoman Empire. The palace, which today serves as a museum, contains valuable treasures, works of art, and historical documents, and is visited by tourists from all over the world. Galata Tower Originally used as a fire watch tower, this structure was built by the Genoese in 1348. Over time, it was used as a dungeon, a prison, an observatory, and a museum. Today, this building serves as a museum and offers a panoramic view of Istanbul. Prague is the capital and largest city of the Czech Republic. Located on the banks of the Vltava River, Prague is the most populous city in the Czech Republic, with a population of approximately 1.3 million. Charles Bridge. This historical bridge, built over the Vltava River and completed in 1402, is named after the Czech King IV, who had it built. It comes from Karl. There are 30 statues on both sides of the bridge. These statues represent various religious and mythological figures. Most of the statues were made in the 17th and 18th centuries. The bridge is visited by millions of people every year. Prague Castle. The history of the castle dates back to the 9th century. The castle played an important role as the political, religious, and cultural center of the Czech Republic. The castle contains the royal palace, cathedral, basilica, monastery, museums, and other important buildings. Prague Castle is one of Prague's most important tourist destinations. The astronomical clock, mounted on the south wall of the Old Town Hall in the Old Town Square, was first installed in 1410 and is the third oldest astronomical clock in the world. The clock, which consists of three main sections, displays an animation show at the beginning of each hour. In this show, figures, symbols of the 12 zodiac signs, emerge from the windows above the clock and dance. Wenceslas Square is one of the most important squares in the city. Founded in the 13th century, the square is located in the heart of the new town. This square has been the historical and political center of Prague. There are many important buildings around the square. One of them is the Prague National Museum. The museum is the largest museum in the country. This museum, whose foundations were laid by Kaspar Maria Sternberg in 1818, aims to systematically create, prepare, and publicly exhibit natural scientific and historical collections.
Vienna is the capital and largest city of Austria. Located on the banks of the Danube River, Vienna is the most populous city in Austria, with a population of approximately 1.9 million. Schönbrunn Palace is one of the city's most popular tourist destinations. It was the main summer residence of the Habsburg monarchs until 1918. It is considered one of the most impressive Baroque palaces in Austria. Schönbrunn Palace is now a museum and open for public tours. The palace is one of Vienna's most popular tourist destinations, and millions of people visit the palace every year. Another palace, the Hofburg Palace, is one of the city's most important tourist destinations. It played an important role as the political, religious, and cultural center of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. The Hofburg Palace remained the main residence of the Habsburg monarchs until the collapse of the Austro-Hungarian Empire in 1918. After 1918, the palace became the property of the Republic of Austria. Today, it is used as a museum and government building. The Vienna State Opera House, built in 1869, is one of the most important opera houses in the world. The Opera House, built in the Neo-Renaissance architectural style, hosts operas performed by the world's best opera singers every year. Among the operas staged in the Opera House are operas by Mozart, Wagner, Verdi, and Puccini. St. Stephen's Cathedral is one of the city's most important landmarks. Built in 1147, the cathedral is one of the most important examples of the Gothic architectural style. The facade of the cathedral is decorated with sculptures and reliefs. The interior of the cathedral is richly decorated. The roof is one of the most important symbols of Vienna. Krakow is the oldest and third largest city in Poland. Located on the banks of the Vistula River, Krakow is the third most populous city in Poland, with a population of approximately 770,000. Wawel Castle is one of the most important historical and cultural symbols of the country. Built in the 9th century, the castle reflects a mixture of Gothic, Renaissance, Baroque, and neoclassical architectural styles. The castle was used as the residence of Polish kings and rulers for centuries. The castle, which is used as a museum today, is visited by millions of people every year. St. Mary's Basilica is one of the most important religious and cultural symbols of the city. Built in the 13th century, the Basilica is one of the most important examples of the Gothic architectural style. The facade of the Basilica, which has two 80-meter high towers, is decorated with sculptures and reliefs. The interior of the Basilica is richly decorated. Hall Tower was built in 1383 by the Krakow City Council to increase the prestige of the city. The construction of the tower took about 10 years, and when it was completed, it became the tallest structure in the city. The tower has played an important role in the history of Krakow for centuries. It hosted meetings of the city council, played a role in the defense of the city, and was a place where alarm bells were rung during fires and riots. The tower suffered a major fire in the 17th century and was partly damaged. However, the tower was rebuilt in a short time and gain it its current appearance. These were the 10 most visited cities in Europe. If you liked the video, we would be happy if you liked the video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications to be informed about the next videos.